Hi, I'm Vahid Razavi with BizCloud. I'm here with Brian Stevens, Chief Technology Officer of Red Hat. Brian, thank you so much for taking the time to uh, be here today. I wanted to learn what took place at Red Hat Summit. Could you give us a high level? What was all the excitement about here? Sure, everything. Um, I think that, you know, to be honest, this is, uh, there's, there's a couple different things happening here. One is there's all these customers and developers that are committed, committed to open source and they're already really far along and deploying you know, open source and Red Hat in their environments. So a big part of today was like helping them understand sort of what was coming. But at the same time, there's a lot of people that are new to this still. We're still really in the early part of open source adoption. So there's a whole number, another class of end users here that are coming here that are just trying to, just getting started for the first time. They've got one server, one application. So there's a whole other set of tracks that are going to help people just, just give them an on-ramp. Awesome. You guys have a fabulous community uh, that you have built around uh, Red Hat products and services. And one of the things that I was going to ask you about was more around the competitions. Earlier today, we had a chance to cover the various uh, aspects of Red Hat products. But I wanted to learn, you know, in terms of software-defined networking and OpenFlow and SDN, uh, is there a product roadmap as well for those kinds of products within Red Hat coming up? Right. Well, there's a, there's a number of things that are happening there. And first, we look at sort of that, the whole... IT automation drives efficiency. So once you get there, you realize you got to have compute storage and of course network. Um, the network's the long pole, I think right now. You know, I mean, you look in most enterprise environments or even service provider scale, they don't really have good models for network scalability. It's still very much physical management. And so what's happening in the whole industry, a lot of it is being led by open sources. There's a number of things going on. One is, for the first time, we have the notion of virtual switching that's embedded right at the endpoint inside of RHEL, inside of Linux, inside of KVM. And you need that you need that notion of virtual switching to be right at the endpoint because you're running virtual virtual machines and so you want to manage different virtual topologies. And then the other part, the head of the head of the whole thing is what's that API for automation? You know, what do you how do you want to present that API for managing networks, configuring networks, provisioning? How do you want to present that to IT ops and other applications? You know, the holy grail of SDN, right? And so for us, for Red Hat, our strategy is around Neutron, which is a core part of the OpenStack project itself, which is defining that SDN layer. But what it's doing is instead of saying, okay, we're going to define that API, that SDN layer, instead of saying that, and then your implementation always has to be exactly the same. What it's doing is it's really following the Red Hat model and the open source model of pluggability. Saying, we're going to give you the API, and then we're going to agree on that and sum up for level logic, but then we're going to allow you to plug in hardware and software layers to help make that vision become real. And so on our side, we're working with partners that have great network controllers you know, that can plug into that, whether they're hardware-based or software-based, and then we're putting our own personal energy. Our developers are actually working on this thing called Open Daylight, and Open Daylight is a open source software-defined network controller that'll plug neatly into that Neutron OpenStack layer. I see. And how does that compare to, for example, a, a strategy that VMware has with their Nasira purchase or uh, the partnership that they have with Cisco around the, the VCE as well as now, you know, the impact that that, that purchase might have had on, on their business? Well, interesting enough, so I think, I think VMware, you know, formerly Nasira, is absolutely the early innovator in this. So what they did with NVP is definitely led the market in sort of the concept of what it could be, you know. Um, we're in the early phases of adoption, so it's not ubiquitous, but we see a lot of our customers are NV customer, MVP customers, Nasira customers as well. And so we, make, we work really hard with the Nasira, the VMware team, to make sure that their controller works with, our, with Linux, you know, with OpenStack. So they're part of our ecosystem from that point. And, then, and they actually pioneered um, the open source work, that open virtual switching that's actually running inside of Linux, that's now merged, right, came out of the outgrowth of the Nasira team. So, so it's not an all open, all closed, even from a VMware strategy. They pioneered a lot of the work in Neutron as well to make sure Nasira plugs in. So they're definitely a good alternative choice um, from a controller perspective. Um, so we'll, our environments will use that or they'll use Open Daylight. And, um, we have to do the Open Daylight plug because Open Daylight, um, I think it was last week or the week before, won Interop's Best of Show. And so not only did it win in the SDN category against Cisco and, and Nasira, but it also won the overall Best of Show for a solution. That's the first time I think any open source project's done that. So we're pretty proud of that. 
Awesome. Well, on one other question that I got to have from a Bay Area perspective, when is the next time Red Hat Summit is going to be held in, in Moscone and in San Francisco? Geez, my, I'm not privileged to ever announce something like that. I can't even tell you where the one next year is. All I know is that, you know, I mean, this is a big part of our customer base. There's just so much, you know, young developers getting into software development out here. So I think this has opened our eyes that just moving the show 3,000 miles can have a whole different impact on what the show looks like. Awesome, but we're so glad to have you guys out here. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us and uh, wish you the best of luck with Red Hat.